Scripps, Florida, a way we could enable the best science, forge new partnerships, accelerate discoveries. For Scripps, that vision was here in Jupiter, Florida, from breaking ground to establishing the best faculty. Nurturing a future of biomedical breakthroughs in one of the world's most advanced PhD programs. To outreach in local schools, engaging children, teachers, and our community. From unprecedented economic opportunities for South Florida. To the state-of-the-art campus. Scripps, Florida. Where the lights are always on. And a mission. He was floppy, he didn't suck, he didn't cry. When Josie was born, something was wrong from the beginning. I ran to the computer, which was a big mistake, and uh, Googled everything I could find about Prader-Willi syndrome. I didn't, I've never heard of it. The greatest fear in the manifestation of Prader-Willi syndrome is uncontrollable appetite. You have to stop these kids from eating. They will eat themselves to death. Help me help not hungry in my body. Research is for us the ultimate answer. My wife and I have a son, Matt, uh, back in 1972 was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Uh, they gave him, in fact, six weeks to live and no hope of being able to treat the disease. We found some experimental research and today Matt is 41 years old and works with me every day in my business. I will do anything I can do to help other families experience the great joy that we got from having first-class research that solved our child's problem. My father was suffering from dementia when he was taken by cancer. His two brothers, my uncle, uh, Uncle Jim, basically died of Alzheimer's disease. The cadre of neuroscientists at Script Florida have gathered together to understand what goes wrong in a variety of different brain disorders. With my father this year, I mean, he was 84 years old. He fell and had to have emergency hip surgery. He has a bad heart and he has metabolic changes that, that come along with aging. And you just realize there's got to be a better way to approach this. It's this unique aspect of Scripps Florida that we have a department focused on aging. There might be ways to to target aging, to treat it, and that might allow you to have a healthy life right up until the bitter end. We want to be able to enjoy our grandchildren. This is the facility that allows us to potentially find new medicines. One success story out of this was the discovery and development of a compound that's now in phase three clinical trials for the treatment of multiple sclerosis. Vicodin, Oxycontin, morphine, fentanyl, the trouble with these drugs is that not only do you have to increase the dose because of tolerance, but they induce severe constipation. We've been making compounds that'll lead to pain relieving properties in a way that will not promote the problems with the current analgesics. I decided that early diagnosis of disease was really one of the, the major problems in medicine. New technology that we've developed is uh, an effort to essentially read your immune system. So we have that very, very broad-based level of technologies here at Scripps that, that really enables all the science, all the research in, in our academic departments to just be elevated to a level far, far beyond what you typically would find. I retired last September. So now I've taken it over full time and, and helping the Levines and the Wilkinsons put together the best event possible to help raise funds for Prader-Willi syndrome. She's really gotten our golf tournament to the point where we can afford research. There's hope now that we have this project that's dedicated solely to Prader-Willi syndrome. You know that there's some similarities in the autism spectrum. We now are um, understanding the interaction between the um, hormones and neurotransmitters that control feeding. And so the spin-offs could be in um, obesity, intervention in that pathway could also help in autistic children. You meet someone and, and even though it's a, a rare genetic disease, suddenly you know you feel that 
here's something I can do for someone. This is a really amazing place. You can work together at the interface of two disciplines. We have accomplished many of the goals that we set out to accomplish. The outcome has been well above our wildest dreams. All of us are affected in one way or another. Scripps is perfectly aligned to develop new therapeutics. You're promising someone, many someones, a life that everyone deserves. Thank you for all you're yes. doing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I look at my own children and how blessed I am. I mean, you see, you know, Josie and Harold. I want to do something more.